So guys, uh, <laughs> that over there is our director of photography. He's never in the shot, but he's always behind the shot. And we would be nothing without Mike. Absolutely. Uh, but we just wanted to let you guys know that we have just gone through day one of the Jaguar similar hill climb. We're here in uh, Nysna. Nysna. I believe Nysna, it's called, yes. in a place called George. And uh, day one on Friday is obviously classic car Friday. And we've seen quite a number of incredibly amazing cars. And uh, we can't wait for tomorrow because the way it's structured is that it's Classic Car Friday, then on Saturday is qualifying for King of the Hill, and then Sunday is now the, the shootout. The shootout. The shootout. Now we, are, now we got, get the top 10 guys now gunning for top of the, uh, King of the Hill. So what we've done today is basically a bit of a recce so yes. that we can understand the lay of the land, know what's going down, make sure everything is okay, and then make sure that we give you guys the best quality coverage that we can give you of the Jaguar Similar Hill Climb. So, uh, Trev, what is the Jaguar Similar Hill Climb and why should we, why should we be interested about it? It's, it's the largest spectator event, uh, motoring spectator event in Africa. And um, it's been sponsored by Jaguar. Yeah. It's been around for 10 years now. This yeah. is the 10th year. So, um, it's a highly organized uh, event whereby other motor manufacturers come and compete in different categories. Like you said, there's classic car and there's a factory category. Now you have your Jaguar, your BMWs, your Nissan, and then you do have now ent entrance, pri uh, privateer entrance, who modify their cars to great extents and try to become the king of the hill. So like last year, we had a guy called Frank Scribante. Uh, Frank was uh, driving a Porsche 911, which cocked up on the last day, on the shootout. It cocked up and uh, the GTRs took the day. However, this year has come back stronger and better yeah. with a GTR that has two massive <laughs> spoilers, front and back. You've Let me tell you, we were very lucky to be in the, in the plane from Johannesburg yes. to yes. George with some of the, the guys who really support Steam Scribante. Yes. And we saw a bit of a preview of what that guy has done with that car. Uh, it's, 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 it's going to be crazy. I mean, what he's done with that, I understand he's worked with the guys behind the Pikes Peak yes. uh, hill climb and he's bringing his A game. I think what happened is after last year, I decided that he's just going to, when you were talking about King of the Hill, yeah. I think him is looking at being the emperor. Emperor. <laughs> yeah, he's not playing yeah. around. So tomorrow is going to be very interesting. We're going to do qualifying and uh, basically we're going to guys let you know what's going on over here. Yes. I think it's very important to note that the, the thing about racing is that it's not bad in and of itself, yes. it's just that you need to think about how you're doing it. And one of the things that has been really amazing about the time you spent now during the Jaguar Similar Hill Climb is even when you're in Nairobi and applying you know, for yes. media accreditation to come yes. here, safety was number one. Number one. Like we've, we've signed, uh, we've signed indemnities. We've had to declare that we are not going to do certain things. Um, every every competitor here has to can be disqualified for driving on a public road on the way here in a dangerous manner. Yes. And and so like safety is number one. And and the fantastic thing about that is that when you take all those safety precautions into consideration, we're having a really good time. Yeah. Like we are right now in an, we are in the in the Jaguar VIP area, which is right on the track at the beginning of the track. We're having a great time. We've been able to do some good shots. Yes, we are. Guys, we are having something. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. So guys, um, like we were saying, safety is always the biggest thing when it comes to these races. Um, one of the things that we've seen here is that they take incredible attention to detail for spectator safety, yes. for the safety of the participants themselves. Um, it's been really amazing. We've, we've seen the, the teams, the, what the attention to detail they're doing in the pit lanes. They actually have um, something they're calling a floating trophy yes. that's going to the, the team that, that gives the most attention to detail, the, the you know, spirit of sportsmanship and that kind of stuff. So I'm loving that they're paying attention to that. And that's something I think we need to think about when it comes to racing in Kenya. Yeah. Racing in and of itself is not evil. It's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just that you need to think about safety and it needs to be something that's built into the event itself. Yeah. And I'm genuinely very impressed by the level of detail they've gone into when it comes to safety, yes. when it comes to the safety of us as the viewers or the, the safety of the participants, making sure that everybody has a roll cage, making sure that the track is fantastic, 
very good lane discipline on the track. As we are speaking right now, there's actually somebody just, the, one of the marshals has actually driven down just to make sure the track is fine, yes. everything is okay. But uh, this was like we mentioned, it's, it's Friday, Classic Car Friday. Tomorrow is when you're going to see now the qualifying rounds for King of the Hill. Yes. Very many uh, categories. Yes. Uh, from what I understand, I think there is the road car category yes. where somebody is not supposed to modify the car at, at all. all. So it's just the same car that you'd buy when you're in the showroom. Then there's a modified car category. Yes. And then there's a single seater and sports car category. Yes. That's now where you have um, something that looks like a Formula One car. Uh, and then, of course, now your Lamborghinis and your Ferraris. Which you've seen down there. It's crazy, you've seen right? down there. It's really quite something and it's quite fantastic. So, guys, stay tuned. We are right now in George Nizna. Nizna, yeah. Nizna Speed Festival featuring the Jaguar Simula Hill Climb. Yes. We are having a good time. We are making sure you get the best possible coverage. Stay tuned. We are stepping things up for season two. Oh, yeah. Uh, to a level that I, I, I don't, we've listened to everything you guys have been saying. Uh, we do, like you've seen, Trevor has been, has been responding to each and every Facebook post. Yes. Our uh, uh, Twitter pages is even me talking about them on social media. We've listened to everything you guys have been saying. We've looked at the formats, and let me not lie, what we are cooking for you guys in season two is going to blow your minds. I, I'm, I, I don't even know. Like we are, we are starting off now with, of course, this. Yes. There's a lot of stuff that we can't talk about right now. Yes. But I have to say that what you guys, what you're bringing for you in season two, it's crazy. It's crazy. Mm. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to. You're going to understand why. Cars with Big Boy Trev is the biggest motoring show in East Africa. Yes. That's why we're in the biggest motoring spectator event in Africa, Africa. because we, we didn't come to play. Yeah. So us guys, we are here for you guys. So please do let us know any comments, any feedback you guys have, what you guys want us to check out. Please do let us know and we'll get back to you. But until now, the, this now is the end of Classic Car Friday. Tomorrow we're going to check out the qualifying rounds for King of the Hill. Trevor? We'll be there, ready to give you all the information. In fact, we'll, we'll put a link. There's a live stream for the qualifiers. We'll put up a link so you're able to follow us and we'll be able to give you all the information. We'll update you. Um, we'll have interviews, brief interviews with a few people, um, probably one of the participants or not. And of course, we'll give you all the details that we can expect from, uh, from, from CBBT as well. We're doing quite a number of shoots, like he said. We can't talk much, but it's going to be exciting. So stay tuned and keep it CBBT. If you have any questions as always, please don't hesitate. Hala. Hala. We will respond. So guys, till next time, stay safe, be safe, and drive safe.